So right now we're in Iwako with Kyle Murphy, Department of Natural Resources, and check out what is behind us here. This is a ship that just went clear down into the water, and Kyle, not great for the environment, huh? Not at all. You can see vessels like this, they contain a lot of toxic materials. Oftentimes they result in oil spill or fuel coming off of the vessel. They contain uh, other toxic chemicals and toxic substances, substances such as asbestos uh, and, and just hazardous materials in general. In addition to being an environmental, uh, causing environmental harm, you can see this vessel now is causing economic impact on the port of Iwako. It has taken up two slip spaces here that they could otherwise be renting to uh, vessel owners for commercial fishing or for recreational purposes. So it it's takes, takes a bite out of their revenue stream as well. So you guys just gave a considerable amount of money to the port here for this very issue mm -hmm. and you're calling it an investment in rural communities. Mm -hmm. Why so? The funding that's been provided to the port of Iwako that's it's targeted towards building a derelict vessel removal facility and, and disposal facility will result in not only greater capacity for us to deal with derelict vessels along the outer coast and the Columbia River here, but also will result in jobs down here in the community and, and some little bit of economic growth as well. For me, this is a great opportunity and a great example of where a community says, how do we take a problem that we have, which is we are the third highest unemployment in Pacific County in the state of Washington, and we have an enormous number of derelict vessels across our coastline, and turn it into an opportunity that we can stimulate jobs and grow this economy. The Port of Iwako has thousands of uh, commercial and recreational vessels that come through here every year and and uh, we, we'd love to be the derelict vessel wrecking yard reclamation center. <laughs> so. It's going to be a win-win for us and for the community. It increases our capacity to deal with derelict vessels and as we hope it'll increase the economic vitality of the community here in Iwako okay. and the community out here on the coast. Thanks Kyle, we appreciate it. Again, You're welcome. Allison Morrow and Kyle Murphy with the Department of Natural Resources out here in beautiful Iwako. King 5 News, back to you.